Namaskar, hello and welcome to Sunset TV. I am Tina Jha. Generations to come, it may well be, will scarce believe that such a man as this one ever in flesh and blood walked upon this earth. This quote of Albert Einstein pays tribute to India's guiding light, the father of the nation, the man who has inspired millions of people down the ages. 30th of January this year marks the 74th death anniversary of the Mahatma. It was on this day in 1948 that he fell to the bullets fired by Nathuram Godse. But even seven decades later, his teachings, principles and ideology formed the moral compass for the world. Gandhi's political and social philosophy, views on economic, social and gender equality, emphasis on basic education for all, the importance of vocational education and indigenization, and above all, his ideas of truth and non-violence are core elements of Indian democratic values. Be it in India's public welfare schemes, outreach programs, domestic and foreign policy, or approach to development and diplomacy, all of these are in some manner rooted in Gandhian philosophy. The 21st century faces huge challenges and concerns, but even in his time, Mahatma Gandhi had already anticipated some of the most pressing challenges of our age. His ideas about sustainability, ecological sensitivity and living in harmony with nature all find a place in the Sustainable Development Goals adopted by the United Nations. Global 2030 Agenda aspires to leave no one behind in the development discourse. It reflects Gandhiji's concept of Sarvodaya through Antyodaya that predicates the welfare of all through the upliftment of the weakest in the society. Mahatma Gandhi anticipated the transformative change of the UN SDGs. He wanted human beings to be the major agent of change. His assertion, be the change you wish to see in the world, emphasizes individual responsibility to ensure global sustainability. Over the years, Gandhi's principles have shaped India's development exercise. His people-centric philosophy is the essence of good governance. Reflecting the enduring faith in Mahatma Gandhi's philosophy, several state assemblies have held special sessions to achieve governance and development through a people-centric approach. Over the years, they have framed policies to empower and make people part of an inclusive development process. This episode of Assembly Debates will bring before you some of these discussions inside legislative assemblies that remember the father of the nation as we mark his 74th death anniversary. We start with Chhattisgarh that marked the 150th birth anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi in 2019. In a two-day session, the Vidhan Sabha discussed the multifaceted personality of Gandhiji, his achievements, contributions, philosophy and relevance today. Speaker Dr. Charandas Mahant presided over the session that saw detailed discussions on the life of Mahatma Gandhi, his principles of truth and non-violence, his role in the freedom struggle and most importantly in nation building. Ki Bapu ji ne kaha tha main ek aise Bharat ke liye kaam karunga jisme garib se garib bhi yah mahsoos kare ki adesh uska hai aur uske nirman mein uski jor dar awaz hai. ऐसे भारत में जिसमें ऊंच नीच वर्गों का भेद न होगा जिसमें सभी जातियां मेल मिलाप के साथ रहेंगी छुआछूत और नशेबाजी के लिए कोई स्थान नहीं होगा स्त्रियों और पुरुषों के सम्मान अधिकार होंगे हम शेष दुनिया के साथ शांति संबंध कायम करेंगे न शोषण करेंगे न शोषण होने देंगे ऐसे तमाम हितों का जो लाखों भोले वाले लोगों ने हितों के विरुद्ध नहीं है ऐसा कोई भी काम हम नहीं करेंगे उदारता के साथ आदर किया जाएगा व्यक्तिगत तौर पर मैं स्वदेशी और विदेशी के भेद से घृणा करता हूं यह मेरे सपनों का भारत होगा चीफ मिनिस्टर भूपेश बघेल स्पोक ऑन गांधी जीज आइडिया ऑफ यूनिटी एंड इंटेग्रिटी ही सेड महात्मा गांधी इज प्रिंसिपल वॉज टू टेक एवरी वन टूगेदर टू अपलिफ्ट वुमेन एंड सर्व द डाउन चोडन एंड दुअर Talking about Gandhiji's dream of Gram Swaraj, the Chief Minister said, taking the path shown by the Mahatma, 
his government is initiating steps to make farmers debt free and boost the rural economy. Gandhi ka Gram Swaraj, aaj us raste pe Chhattisgarh sarkar chal rahi hai dakshin mein. Humne kisanon ko majboot banane ka kaam kiya. Rin maafi nahi. पच्चीस सौ रुपये क्विंटल धान दे के उनको समर्थ बनाने की कोशिश हमारी गांधी ने गाय की सेवा की और इसलिए हमने नारा दिया छत्तीसगढ़ के चार चिन्हारी नरवा गरवा गुरुआ बारी Leader of opposition Dharamlal Kaushik remembered the struggles and discrimination that a young Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi faced in his initial years in London and South Africa. He said that even after seven decades of independence, India is still quite some distance away from the heights it should have achieved in education and employment, goals that Gandhi ji firmly believed in and worked for. Gandhi ji ka jo sadhya aur sadhan ke upar unka jo lakshya hai, jo unka soch bani. उस सोच के अनुसार से वास्तविक में आज के समय में हम लोग कहां पर खड़े हुए हैं हम कहां पर जा रहे हैं क्या आज इस बात के चिंतन करने के समाज में आवश्यकता नहीं है वास्तविक में देश के आजादी के बाद में आज जहां पर हम खड़े हुए हैं जिन परिस्थितियों पर हम खड़े हुए हैं मैंने इसलिए कहा कि गांधी जी आज भी प्रासंगिक है कि उनके जो बताए हुए उपदेश है उनके बताए हुए जो संदेश है यदि उस मार्ग में प्रशस्त होकर के चलेंगे तो निश्चित रूप से जो कल्पना गांधी जी किए हैं उसको हम नीचे तक धरातल में पहुंचा सकते हैं साकार कर सकते हैं सेवरल मेंबर्स कटिंग अक्रॉस पार्टी लाइन टुक पार्ट इन द डिस्कशन दैट सेंटर्ड अराउंड गांधी जीज आइडियोलॉजी एंड हाउ टू वर्क टुवर्ड्स मेकिंग द इंडिया ऑफ हिज ड्रीम्स इस देश में ऐसा कोई व्यक्ति पैदा नहीं हुआ जिसने गांधी जी से ज्यादा शब्द बोले हों इस देश में कोई ऐसा व्यक्ति पैदा नहीं हुआ जिन्होंने गांधी से ज्यादा अक्षर लिखे हों जिन्होंने इस हिंदुस्तान में कोई ऐसा व्यक्ति नहीं पैदा हुआ जिन्होंने गांधी से जी से ज्यादा सड़क नापे हों पद यात्रा के माध्यम से पूरे हिंदुस्तान को चलने वाले और सबसे ज्यादा आंदोलन का नेतृत्व करने वाले व्यक्ति का नाम है महात्मा गांधी के रूप में हम उनको याद करते हैं माँ खादी की चादर दे दे मैं गांधी बन जाऊँ सब मित्रों के बीच बैठकर रघुपति राघव गाँव निकर नहीं धोती पहनूंगा खादी की चादर ओढ़कर घड़ी कमर में लटकाऊंगा शहर सवेरे कर आऊंगा मैं बकरी का दूध पीऊंगा जूता अपना आप सीऊंगा आज्ञा तेरी मैं मानूंगा सेवा का प्रण में ठानूंगा मुझे रुई की पोनी दे दे चरखी खूब चलाऊ माँ खादी की चादर दे दे मैं गांधी बन जाऊ फिटिंग ट्रिब्यूट टू महात्मा गांधी इन द छत्तीसगढ़ विधान Gandhi had visited the state twice when it was part of the undivided Madhya Pradesh way back in 1920 and later in 1933 first for Jal Satyagraha and then for Tilak Fund and the Swarajya Fund Moving on the Uttar Pradesh legislature also held a marathon 36 hour long special session to commemorate Mahatma Gandhi The occasion was once again the 150th birth anniversary of Bapu both houses of the assembly held discussions on the state's development goals As envisioned by Mahatma Gandhi. एक हमारा तात्पर्य विश्व दृष्टि से जुड़ना और गांधी जी उस विश्व दृष्टि के महानायक गांधी जी ने भारतीय संस्कृति दर्शन परंपरा इतिहास संघर्ष आदर्श सबको मिलाकर सारी दुनिया में भारत के मन का चित्रण रखा Addressing the session Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath said Mahatma Gandhi's teachings and ideals are his legacy on which the UN Sustainable Development Goals are based He said Gandhi ji gave us the idea of sarvodaya the upliftment of all that can be seen in India's approach to development and the BJP government's motto of sabka saath sabka vikas sabka vishwas These development goals he said will help Uttar Pradesh move ahead adding that the entire world today is looking towards india mode jo 16 goal uttar pradesh jaise rajya ki dish se yahan par liye gaye hain ye desh ke andar 2014 ke andar jab 
युग परिवर्तन का वो समय आया था जब प्रधानमंत्री के रूप में श्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी ने देश की कमान अपने हाथों में ली थी तब तो उन्होंने इस बारे में कहा था कि देश के अंदर विकास का एजेंडा किसी व्यक्ति किसी परिवार किसी जाति किसी मत किसी क्षेत्र और भाषा तक सीमित नहीं रहेगा बल्कि इस देश के अंदर इस देश के गांवों के लिए गरीब के लिए किसान के लिए नौजवान के लिए महिलाओं के लिए और समाज के प्रत्येक तबके तक हम इसे समान रूप से ले जाने का कार्य करेंगे किसी के साथ भेदभाव नहीं विकास सबका लेकिन तुष्टिकरण किसी का नहीं और यह भाव 2014 में जो व्यक्त किया गया आज हम सस्टेनेबल गोल के माध्यम से देख सकते हैं कि सस्टेनेबल गोल्स में जो गोल्स तय किए गए हैं ये सभी वही हैं जिन पर सतत विकास के लक्ष्य निर्धारित करते हुए भारत सरकार ने भी और प्रदेश की सरकार ने भी पिछले ढाई वर्ष के अंदर प्रदेश के अंदर जिन लक्ष्यों को प्राप्त करने के लिए अपनी ठोस कार्य योजना बनाई है और जिस पर कार्य प्रारंभ किया है ये सभी उन्हीं के इर्द गिर्द या उन्हीं लक्ष्यों को प्राप्त करने की दिशा में किए जा रहे प्रयास है Taking part in the discussion, UP ministers as well as ruling BJP MLA spoke on Gandhi ji's core values that are today part of the Indian ethos. They highlighted how his dreams of an equal and just society are being realized by the current BJP government. 149 members of the Legislative Assembly and 66 members of the Legislative Council took part in the overnight discussions. Opposition parties, including the Congress, Samajwadi Party, and the BSP, boycotted the session. Satat Vikas ki prakriya, sustainable growth, jo United Nations ne kaha ki desho ko 2030 tak vikshit hona hai, aur aise unhone kuch manak tay kiye. Jin manak ke aadhar par unhone kaha ki satat Vikas ki jo payya hai, wo chalta rahe Vikas shil desh un manko ko pura karne ka prayas kare. मैं आज कहना चाहता हूं कि जो मानक यूनाइटेड नेशंस ने तय किए थे सतत विकास के लिए आज उन्हीं मानकों पर खरा उतर उतरते हुए केंद्र सरकार की ऐसी तमाम योजनाएं हैं जैसे मेक इन इंडिया जैसे स्वच्छ भारत अभियान जैसे बेटी बचाओ बेटी पढ़ाओ जैसे राष्ट्रीय ग्रामीण पेयजल कार्यक्रम जैसे प्रधानमंत्री ग्राम सड़क योजना जैसे स्किल इंडिया जैसे दीनदयाल उपाध्याय ग्राम ज्योति योजना जैसे प्रधानमंत्री कृषि सिंचाई योजना ऐसे तमाम योजनाएं हैं क्योंकि अगर मैं सब योजनाओं का शायद नाम लूंगा तो शायद पूरी रात बीत जाएगी ये योजनाएं जो शुरू करी केंद्र सरकार ने यही सोच के करी थी कि ये सतत विकास की जो प्रक्रिया है ये लगातार चालू रहे और इससे जो सबसे निचले पायदान पे जो लोग बैठे हैं जो लोग हैं उनको सरकारी योजनाओं का लाभ मिले मुझे पहले याद है कि हर गांव में जहां जो कॉलोनी का लक्ष्य होता है पूरे पूरे गांव में एक आध कॉलोनी आ पाती थी और वो भी जाति विशेष उस पर आती थी आज की तारीख में उन्हीं गांव में कम से कम 20-30 कॉलोनीज एक साथ आती हैं गरीब जो भी एक लक्ष्य है जो एक यूनाइटेड नेशंस लक्ष्य है और एंड ऑफ द डे चाहे वो हाउसिंग हो चाहे वो पानी की समस्या हो चाहे वो पॉवर्टी एलिविएशन हो ये सारी चीज़ें दे गो हैंड इन हैंड जब तक एक पे काम नहीं किया जाएगा दूसरी चीजों पे भी काम नहीं किया जा सकता इस देश को विश्व गुरु बनाने के लिए सोने की चिड़िया बनाने के लिए 2014 से लगातार इस देश को कैसे समृद्धशाली बनाया जाए इस देश को कैसे विश्व गुरु बनाया जाए इस देश को कैसे सोने की चिड़िया बनाया जाए उस पर लगातार वो काम करने का काम कर रहे हैं माननीय अध्यक्ष The UP Assembly also passed a resolution asking the state government to take effective steps to achieve the sustainable development goals. The manifold legacy of Mahatma Gandhi was also the topic of discussion for the Odisha Assembly. This was during the budget session of the state in March 2021 when the assembly marked 100 years of Mahatma Gandhi's visit to Odisha in March 1921. In his address Chief Minister Navin Patnaik highlighted the non-violent resistance of Gandhi ji he spoke of how it ignited many peaceful movements across the world it is also appropriate to recall 
that the idea of non-violence is also attributed to the land of Kalinga, where Emperor Ashoka was inspired to renounce war. The Chief Minister quoted Gandhiji's unique commitment to the poorest of the poor, while reaffirming his own government's adherence to the ideals and principles of Mahatma Gandhi. The Odisha Assembly also unanimously adopted a resolution that non-violence be incorporated in the preamble of the Constitution. Gandhiji's ideas regularly find mention in the discussions of Parliament. Prime Minister Narendra Modi's speeches are replete with references to Mahatma Gandhi. He launched the Swachh Bharat Abhiyan on Gandhi Jayanti, urging people to follow the Mahatma's mantra that cleanliness is godliness. So as we remember the great icon of India on his 74th death anniversary and look back at his timeless ideas and ideals, let's look at how far we have reached in realizing Gandhi's dream of an India. For this, joining me are two eminent panelists on the program. So let me first introduce them to you. I have with me on the show today, Dr. N. Radhakrishnan. He is a chairman, Gandhi Peace Mission, and also the chairman of Kerala Gandhi Smarak Nidhi. And Dr. Anil Datta Mishra is a Gandhian scholar and writer. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining me on the program today on Sunset TV. 74 years since his demise, but Mahatma Gandhi's principles, his ideology remain as relevant as ever. Now, as we remember the Mahatma and his great contributions to the country, what, according to you, is his biggest legacy to India and also to the world? Namaskar. I would like to hail all of you as the very proud citizens of a great country, Bharat. So let us say, Jai Hind, Jai Hind. And the question that you raised is a very, very valid question. On the occasion of his birthday, how does the nation, his people, how does, the, how does a great civilization that Gandhi and countless freedom fighters left right behind and forward like Netaji, Sufar Chandra Bose, Sardar Patel, Jawaharlal Nehru, and many others standing behind him, sharing Gandhiji's vision of an India, a free nation, a Swaraj that will deliver good to everyone around, a democracy, a democracy which, which will offer justice to everybody, justice to all men, all women, all subjugated, all who are um, pushed behind, all to whom freedom as freedom was meant, denied. So the, the long years of freedom struggle, Indian waged under several heroes led by Mahatma Gandhi gave us several, several lessons also. A free nation, a free society, and a just society, a society that will stand as a, uh, as a van wagon, heralding, holding up all uh, humanitarian lessons. And to look at Gandhi as only a freedom fighter and make him a hero and the national movement probably is unjust. Absolutely. His Gandhi, contribution across various spectrums has been immense. In fact, uh, how far have we reached in realizing his goals of an India that he dream, dreamt of is something that I'll come back to you and understand uh, further, Dr. Radhakrishnan. Let me bring in also the perspective of Dr. Mishra, who is joining us on the program. In a world today, particularly where there are profound challenges be it economic, social, political. What do you think, what, what are the ideas of Mahatma Gandhi that would have been the most relevant today? The first thing Gandhi gave us is that he was the first person who used non-violence as a technique 
Shatyagra as a technique, and it is a technique of revolution. It is a technique of fight against injustice. It is a technique of fight against mightiest power on this earth. This is the first contribution Gandhi ji gave to us. The second, the very important thing Gandhi gave us is ancient wisdom in modern context. Gandhi was the first philosopher who ha harmonized dharma, artha, kama, and moksha. That was the greatest contribution of Gandhi. Not only that, Gandhi used his technique of non-violence as a sword, as a gunpowder to blow the foundation of the British Empire. Throughout the life, Gandhi experimented. And that is the need of the hour. What Gandhi ji gave us, Gandhi ji gave us voice to the voiceless, power to the powerless. And in another word, Gandhi is very simple, but everything else is very complex. So from Gandhi, we have to learn, practice as you breathe. In another word, preserve the relevant, destroy the irrelevant, and create what is needed. And all these things we are learning from the Gandhi during the pandemic. What Gandhi ji message is, go back to the nature. And when Gandhi ji saying is go back to the nature means development must be sustainable. Absolutely. It must be environmental friendly. It is not the development for a few. Basically give morality to the people. And through morality, he awakened the consciousness of India and India. That is the contribution of the Gandhi to the nation. Certainly. Very significant points, Dr. Radhakrishnan, uh, of, you know, what Mahatma Gandhi had actually spoken about. Sarvode through Antyode, welfare of all, and that no one should be left behind. A stark similarity to what we now see in the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, which talks about a better future, a brighter future, which is also sustainable. Uh, well, I, I appreciate your, uh, your focus on justice to all and development. As a, as a Gandhian paradigm of not only individual development, societal transformation, as well as a society's yearning and calculated uh, efforts to achieve what is denied. You remember, when, when we look at the, the three major periods of uh, Gandhi's Evolution, the South African period of 21 years of, of developing a new perspective of individual. You should know that. Uh, you and I are talking about development. You, are, you and I are talking about justice. You and I are, are envisioning of a, of a new society where everybody will be given Everybody can hope for what everybody expects. Yes. And uh, everybody should strive towards what is denied to everybody. Here, Gandhiji was one of the earliest, as Dr. Um, Dr. Death pointed out a little, little earlier. It, it was the individual empowerment. Before one talks about Sarvodaya or democracy, or whatever form of government that has to be nurtured. What kind of individuals are we, are we nurturing? What kind of social order are we developing? And what kind of structures are, are, we, are we developing around us? That is what is important. So uh, the, the, um, the self-development, self-conscious individual, and a motivated group, moving towards hand in hand, caring for each other, which he called Sarvodaya, or later, uh, whether it was known as Andhyodaya, or people working together, has this particular point of uh, focus on development in society. The 21 years of, uh, please don't understand, 
the uh, underestimate the importance of what gandhi did as a model social activist the 21 years uh, gave us two important aspects of gandhi ji's vision of a of a developed society that was what kind of individual are we going to be certainly are we are we going to uh, um, d- develop our self right are we going to work in a society are we are we working for others These absolutely and his emphasis for- that you know for global sustainability individual accountability individual responsibility has to be fixed and this is something that gandhi ji spoke about while talking about transformation changes in society which of course should also be sustainable uh, dr mishra another important aspect that gandhi ji worked towards was to bring about equality in society all kinds of equality economic uh, also social equality and most importantly gender equality in the last 74 years since he has been gone and india also is celebrating its 75th uh, independence day this year how do you think are we faring on the equality front how have we progressed in realizing his vision of an equal just world you know gandhi was the first person during the freedom movement he gave importance to the women he gave you know participation of women not only in india but in south africa yes. the first you know satyagrahi was william Ma. a women and whatever women achieve today all credit goes to gandhi and nehru when i say you know gandhi and nehru all all this goes to this one now the other other important point is that what gandhi ji gave us to us he gave back to the people their self respect he awakened the sleeping masses and he almost you know sudden time the brightening the gap between the rich and the poor the greatest contribution of gandhi today is that whatever women achieve the gender e- equality or on other front gandhi ji started more than you will be surprised to know that in all nook and corner of india the academic institutions were established to change the mindset of the people and the gandhi main philosophy was by changing the mindset of the people only you can bring the gender equality or social justice we have to care for poor we have to care for dalit we have to care for women because the structural violence is increasing and only through the gandhian means because gandhi provide an alternative Certainly. only the Absolutely. gandhi through gandhi an alternative so he himself may not be alive but the kind of principles the ideologies that he believed in actually help has helped india in fact he continues to be our yes. guiding light even today yes. so yes. Uh, with that i'll have to wind up the discussion thank you uh, dr mishra and uh, dr radhakrishnan for joining me on the program today sharing your thoughts or with us on the timeless ide- ideas and ideals of mahatma gandhi and the inspiration that he continues to be for us in india as well as for the world it was a pleasure thank having you on the program so thank you. with that okay thank you. thank you so much thank, thank you for joining us on the program so with that i'll have to call it a wrap on this edition of assembly debates thanks very much once again to all our viewers as well for their time